all of us, you know, before Christ and even after knowing Christ, you know, have struggles and um, things that, um, that, you know, really we find are just, you know, hard to get through. Uh, the Bible actually says anyone who sins is a slave of, of sin, you know, that, that word really brings it home. It's like something that controls you. And, you know, the title of that song is Dear X, You Don't Own Me. Because we can look back at things, you know, for myself, like hate and anger. I mean, those were things that owned me. I didn't really have a choice, you know what I mean? It wasn't really like I had the choice to not get angry or the choice to not hate. I mean, it owned me. I was a slave of hate. And, um, you know, once you move on and you just embrace freedom in Christ, it's like now I have the choice. I don't have to embrace it, you know. Hey, it's still like a like a psycho ex-girlfriend, you know. I mean, it's still waiting there, and that's that's really how we wrote the song was, you know, dear pain, dear shame, dear anger, dear hate, kind of writing it as if those things that used to own you were like a psycho ex-girlfriend, you know, just waiting out behind the door, you know, just you know sending you an email every once in a while, a phone call every once in a while, just to see if you're still available, and you're saying, you know, no, I've moved on to a new love. You can't have me. You don't own me. Oh, hey.